Sub Nerd Migos and the Jive Talking Nerd John Nor Group. We've got wife here. Er, yesterday was Terrible Movie Tuesday, so this is Review Jive for Terrible Movie Tuesday. Uh, we watched Sleepy Hollow last night from 1999, starring Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, and Christopher Walken. Uh, I'm going to read the thing. Google wants to scroll down. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Set in 1799, Sleepy Hollow is based on Washington Irvine, Irving's, Jesus, Irving's classic tale, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Why would they need to say that out loud? <clears throat> Anywho. I imagine that some people don't know. They're just like, ah, oh, I thought it was based on the, uh, the... I thought it was based the, on the, Disney. 1840s porno magazine, Sleepy Hollow, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Gross. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to know. Except 18th century push. Uh, faithful <laughs> to the dreamy, custom-bound world that Irving paints in his story. The film mixes horror, fantasy, and romance, and features an extraordinary cast of characters that dabble in the supernatural. Wow, that was... That was a journey. That was that was not descriptive. That uh, does not describe this yeah. movie pretty uh, much at all. This movie has to do with Sleepy Hollow, the legend as... Um, well, almost every adaptation of Sleepy Hollow has to do with Sleepy Hollow, the legend. Yeah. Um, there's a dude that's headless, he rides a horse... The town's called Sleepy takes Hollow. Off other people's that's kind of it. That's generally where this yeah. ends. Yeah. Um, so this is this is a great movie. This is a classic. This is fantastic. I would not call this a terrible movie. However, I certainly know that there there is a there is a a group of people that don't like this movie that don't yeah. find it fun. Um, I understand. In fact, I even understand the reasons why some people might not like this movie. It is very different than Sleepy Hollow. And some of the choices made are good, and some of the choices made in this movie are weird CGI, like eyes bulging out, tongue being like, eh. Yeah, some of the CGI some, some, some of it, doesn't some, really hold up. It's not just that the CGI mostly... doesn't hold up. It's like the decision for how specifically they were going to yeah. use the CGI that in this like almost kooky, wackadoo, cartoonish way. In some instances, I mean, this is a Tim Burton. Movie. I understand. I understand that it's a like, Tim Burton movie. Can you expect you, this anything else? This is a else? Tim Burton movie, right? Well, yeah. and I, I get that there's probably people who don't like this movie purely because of Johnny Depp, because there are people who just like or because have of it Tim out Burton. against him, or because of Tim Burton, honestly, or because of Christina Ricci, or because of Christopher Walken. Although I actually like all three of them, <laughs> um, most of all of them, Christopher Walken, uh, because he is an amazing person. Uh, Christopher Walken's absurd. But, um, this is very Tim Burton. This yeah. is but this isn't like, very this Johnny Depp. This isn't like Depp. super kooky Tim Burton. This it's is pretty like kooky. For I'm, a serious movie, it's pretty kooky. We saw a headless man on a horse that's, true. that's the risen that's corpse true. of Christopher Walken jump out of a fucking bloody I mean, tree but vagina. Tim Burton didn't it's write not, that part. Maybe he did. It's didn't not write that part. the Maybe least. <laughs> Maybe this is a kooky take. You know it's what? A Regardless, movie. this is one of my favorite movies. It's a great movie. This is I love so this movie. good. It's got beautiful sets design it has beautiful mostly temporarily relevant costumes it's got like really nice accurate adjacent <laughs> the it's, 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 it's accurate adjacent with it uh, um, i really like the creepiness of the forest and uh one of the fun facts about this movie fun is fact. that this forest that they built at the time the movie was done in 1999 was the largest sound set or sound stage forest ever built yeah, uh, and that's because they wanted mm -hmm. a lot of control over the atmosphere and the conditions, and they didn't want to have to go out with dealing with real life and finding the forest that they yeah. felt like a forest yeah. because they didn't really want people to go <laughs> to this forest and be like, "Oh, this is the headless horseman forest," because they wanted it to look otherworldly. Yeah, uh, it, it's. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that it's shot on a soundstage. It doesn't detract from the movie at all for me, by the by. I don't actually care that much. But, like, it would have been better with the, like, the the random nature of a real life forest it's a it's it's again and you know what and this isn't a this isn't a bad mark but it is it's again one of those things where like when you watch the movie you're not at all thinking about it but when you start to analyze and think about the movie you're like it's weird that he just didn't go to a forest there's like a buttload of forests that would look this good but then you start thinking about like all right well this forest is like highly uniform yeah right 
and like it's like every tree is very it, it feels very much like somebody drew a sketch of what they want the forest to look like and the studio was like okay well then just make this forest. they were just like here's somebody make a so forest. so you know like I, I get that and i understand the desire for control and stuff uh there really isn't technically night in this universe yeah, everything you notice, is sort of in the in the twilight. in the dark times. It's really just like a little bit grayer and bluer, maybe in lighting coloration. Well, in the daytime, it's just not as dark. Yeah, it's just like a little bit brighter <laughs> Which and yellower. I suppose yellower. is like the most meta way that you could describe daytime, right? Yeah, but like. Hey, we're back. We're my, back. Cam my camera died. My battery uh, died in my camera. Right? <laughs> cell phone. Anyway, this movie basically takes place during twilight or dark, and that's it. Yeah, um, well, I mean, it's clearly nighttime, but again, me... it's that it's that it's that soundstage way of shooting where yeah. they they shoot in just like slightly color adjusted light that's just a little bit more dim, and they just kind of like wash everything out. Um, whereas like. And, but I think that that's a very Tim Burton style. Yeah, it absolutely is. You this know, movie, for really me, shoot though, is, like, the entry point into fall. Like, this movie feels like it's, you know, taking place during fall, you know, Halloween, etc. Um, but for me, such. this movie is, like, a rite of passage for me to be like, okay, fall is coming. Uh, <laughs> it's a good movie. I'm it not is. that. I'm not and that I into it. Talk. I don't know about watching that. Watching this movie like right around the time that you're outside and you get that like first whiff of fall, and I just had that whiff of fall like like week before last, which was like right before the fires came. So that's fun. Um, but uh, you know, that's, that's this movie is a very like like ritualistic. Yeah. part of my year. I mean, it's a good movie. And, and it really gets me in the mood for Halloween, and now I'm really wanting to do some it's, decorations. It's, cer it's certainly one of those, like, every year kind of movies. It's sort of like, um, um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, or, I watch this movie at least once a year. Or, or, yeah. or any of those, you know? And so, like, it's good, and I do enjoy this movie, and I think Johnny Depp does a good job, and I think that the oh, whole... Oh, I love how many times he gets blasted the, in the, the face the, by the blood. The Johnny Depp get... There's a scene where... This is <laughs> arguably one of my favorite scenes in the movie, but purely because of how this scene would have been shot, right? So it's like... So Johnny Depp is hacking into the blood tree, um... Or whatever. Yeah. And he's hacking into the blood tree, right? And the shot is coming from like like the tree's perspective. And the 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 scene is the shot is just Johnny Depp in frame, like only Johnny Depp in frame, just swinging an axe in and out of frame, right? <laughs> and every time he swings an axe in like through frame, he gets sprayed in the face. And then he pulls it out and he makes a detestable face. And then he does it again. And he pulls it out, and makes a detestable face, and he does it again. And this is like, it's like two minutes long right and and the whole time he's getting squirted in the face which means either one there is just like some guy standing there like this up against a tree and the camera's right here next to his face yeah. and the fucking pad that johnny depp is supposed to hit is right here and he's just fucking squirt Squirt, <laughs> yeah. squirt, just I mean, squirt Johnny Depp in the face, which is which is the funniest way they could have done that because then Johnny Depp is having to act into this guy's eyes, which is just like a weird thing to begin with. Or they have some sort of contrivance set up to squirt him in the face, and there's a guy way away from the camera just being like, "Now, now, yeah, now, yeah." Now. It was which it, is still <laughs> absurd. Well, it actually became a joke on set that Tim Burton would get him with this blood. I've watched the making of this movie too many times. Uh, <laughs> the more you uh, so, like, I think it happens like something like four or five times. Yeah, he gets throughout really gets, the course. He really of the gets movie. squirted in the face with blood yeah. often, and he's like squeamish and whatever. I mean, this is like. This is like peak Deppy Johnny Deppness. Oh in yeah, my this opinion. is like pre and, Pirates of the Caribbean Johnny. And Depp, honestly, so. this is pretty peak Tim Burton. It's, yeah, but I can see why somebody would have a problem with this movie. I can, I can absolutely right? see it. I can, I can wrong. see why. I can wrong, see wrong, wrong, wrong. I can see why this movie is really stylistic and like I wouldn't call this movie horror. Even though it's I a also horror movie, would not like I, I almost want to call this a thriller or something. I can see why people it's, call it. A I horror feel like movie. I There's feel a like lot we of need, horror elements. Really, to it. I think that this is just a seasonal genre movie. I think it's just a Halloween movie. I mean, really, which is yes. different than a horror movie because, uh, like, but this like, what is would also you call a, the... this is like a whodunit, also. Yeah, because yeah. you are trying to it's, figure out who the killer like a, is the whole time. So it's, it's like a little a, like a 
Halloween crime drama. movie. It's a, it's drama. a crime drama. It's a Halloween yeah. crime drama. Halloween yeah. cl crime drama. Um, but you know, Johnny Depp does a great job, and yeah. and all the townspeople are are weird, fucking weird, interesting characters. Tim Burton makes weird characters. Yeah. Um, yeah. and Johnny, De you know, Johnny Depp does a good job. Christina Ricci does a good job. Yeah. Um, the stepmother, I don't know her the name. The stepmother, but she, she does, does a, a good really job. good job. I actually and like the horsemen in this. Yeah. Um, they, like, I guess I forgot the, the bridge scene at the end of this movie. And when they first crossed the bridge, I was like, well, there you go. Cause you know, the bridge has a thing to do with yeah. the legend. Uh, and then this guy just like walks over the roof of the bridge. It was it was very weird. Um, <laughs> it was very weird. The amount of time spent on some scenes seemed irrational to me in some parts of this movie. Like the scene where the headless horseman grows his head back is <laughs> way fucking longer than it's it needs to be. Super long. And it, and, and it starts sort of like graphic horror, kind of crazy, yeah. and then it gets like really kooky and weird like cartoon who framed roger rabbit yeah, levels yeah. of insanity right and then it and then it just sort of like the camera pans away and it pans back and it's just um and it's still going it's like it paused it didn't yeah. keep going and then it, and like then it, and then it's looking. going you know and then when they finally get to christopher walken he's wearing all kind of crazy makeup and his hair is all did up and he's got his he's got these like Im he's got this this thing in because the headless horseman sharpened his teeth to be more terrifying or something yeah they talk about it in the movie and um and it's just like it really looks like christopher walken doesn't want to have that much makeup on. yeah <laughs> it kind of does look I'll, like, that way. like it, it's him in this movie and there was another thing that we recently watched where somebody had like fake teeth in and you can fake like Teeth you can you can see worst. that they're just like I'm not gonna breathe right for a little while during yeah. this shot. Um, but uh, I I kind of love Christopher Walken as the bad guy in this. Um, when when it's like him on screen, you don't get the like what we nowadays expect kind of kooky Christopher Walken. Yeah, it, this movie takes itself very seriously for being as fucking insane as it is. Yeah, right, and that's not a bad thing. But it also, again, it's one of those things where, like, like I guess I can see why people don't like it. I think it's a fucking fun movie. Yeah. I watch it every fucking year. Yeah. Uh, it's good, you know? I don't think it's Johnny Depp's best role, but I think but, it's certainly up I there. mean, it also has Christopher Lee in it. Yeah. Christopher Lee, OG horror, one of the last roles that he filmed before he died. As uh, I don't know how many after this, but this is right in that line there. Yeah. And uh, every time you hear Christopher Lee's voice, it's just like beautiful it's just fantastic yeah the, the plays town is really such interesting like a gravity with with his roles yeah it's really yeah. cool and it's interesting that they make him kind of like the bad guy from the past for johnny depp's character too there's a lot of really interesting conceptualizations about witchcraft and being a witch that as a witch i really enjoy yeah, I um, like that they, they added really, a little bit more yeah, to they the added story a little there. Bit more, but they didn't make the witches the bad guys unless you are also a bad guy who happens to be a witch. Yeah, they just um, made like they just made like this one chick's the bad guy. Yeah. It just right? happens that she's also a witch. Um But these other people who practice witchcrafty stuff yeah, are fine. not the bad guy, yeah, including a midwife who is kind of borderline in that sort of stuff yeah. because of their working with plant craft and midwifery stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I really enjoy that part of the movie as well, that they made it so that witchcraft wasn't like, oh, she's a witch, burn the witch. Yeah. Uh, you know, it felt, it, it feels refreshing as someone who practices the craft to be able to watch something where you're not like, oh, that's, uh, yeah. that's, uh, where they're not that's just uncomfortable. Like, where they're not just like, like racist against witches. Yeah. Uh, which is generally the way Hollywood interprets that kind of yeah. stuff. Uh, no, you know, I thought that that was good. I like the idea of of um, Johnny Depp's character being more like Sherlock Holmes than anything yeah. else. Uh, that being said, a hundred percent of of the like Burton science, oh, which yeah. I feel I feel like <laughs> needs to be its own category of when Tim Burton talks about anything at all scientific in any of his movies, uh, especially with Johnny Depp involved. And you're like, no. Yeah, you're like that's. I don't think that's. No, nope, that's not. That's not how any of that shit works. That's. Um, but that's okay because for me, oh, it doesn't. Universe, it doesn't I don't matter. Even care. Well, it, yeah, whatever. Like, it, like it. It doesn't matter that the science isn't accurate for a fucking ghost story, right? 
Uh, but it's it's just that it's this, and this isn't like a bad thing. It's just that like Tim Burton has this very specific way of interpreting like sciency stuff, um, and and I think that this movie is probably like the strongest example of that. Yeah. Because there's just there's a bunch of times when Johnny Depp is talking about medicine stuff or is doing something to a body or is like testing a crime scene kind of a thing, and you're just like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. And you're just, you're watching him, and he's just like, we gotta do this, and then, blah, blah, blah. and he's like going through the stuff, and you're just like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, but I'm not gonna argue about it, right? Yeah. I'm like, it doesn't matter that much, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know what you're doing, but it, it's not, I mean, not perhaps a it's a little bit like science so evolved that it feels like magic. I don't, I don't even know that it feels like magic. Yeah. The magic certainly kind of feels like magic. It does. Um, it but, does. Uh, yeah. but the science just feels like fun Hollywood stuff. And that's okay. Uh, honestly, it feels yeah. more like a superhero movie than like, uh, yeah, it, it feels much more like superhero science. You know, we're like, you're like, yeah, okay, Tony Stark is saying like the word quantum two times. Like, sure, whatever, <laughs> science. Move past. Like, nobody cares, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I thought this was really good. I think that, I think that this movie is, and I, I hate to say this, I get the strong feeling that this movie is in that like ripe for a remake no nope. stage. No, nope. I, I don't want, want a remake of it. it. I don't want but it. But watching it last night, I'm just like, dude, if two Hollywood motherfuckers watch this movie in the same weekend, we're gonna get a goddamn remake out of it. Yeah. And and, and this is the thing, they can probably bring all of the actors back except for the like except older towns. Yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, yeah, they could the bring like most of them back. You know, but certainly they could bring Johnny Depp back um for it, you know, and yeah. and I would, I would almost like to see a sequel to this. See, made now with Johnny I Depp. I wouldn't mind seeing another sequel. Not, in not the a same remake, vein. but but like but like a sequel. Johnny Depp's back. He's older. The town's seeing the same stuff. He's like, I've done and seen this before. I'm gonna dig up the body, and it's like there's no body. Yeah. Not at it. Not even a little bit. They must have moved it during the time that he was away. And like, don't. Like, like, I would love to see a sequel for this movie that just, the whatever the real-life length of time between these two movies is, which is right now 21 years, yeah, right, has actually passed, right? And now this spoopy shit is happening again, sp yeah. even spoopier. And, like, increased the new spookness. generation has to try to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be fun. I think that that would be fun, and I think that Burton and Depp could really, like, do a fun thing with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, that, like, like style or whatever. Um, but I don't know. There's just something about this movie that's like too many people in our generation love this movie, and so I think that Hollywood's gonna try to make a trash remake of they it. They probably will try, yes. And it's yeah. gonna be trash because they always are. But yeah, that's not important. Those are this just movie fears. though. This movie a was great. Solid five out of five. Um, this movie is available on probably probably multiple ways. I know we have a DVD of it somewhere in boxes. Because... We watched it on Netflix. Yeah, we watched it on yeah, Netflix. We're not, we but, don't use optical uh, discs. We're from the future, guys. You yeah. don't need optical discs Everything for anything. Everything can be streamed. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so, uh. yeah, so what do you think? Do you like this movie? What about this movie do you like? Yeah. Uh, you know, I uh -huh. my favorite scene is the witch underneath the tree. Having sex know. with that guy? No, no, oh. no. Follow the Indian trail to where the sun dies. Oh, that, that scene. Okay. Oh, my God, I love that scene. The witch that having sex like, with that guy is a pretty fun scene. That is like I'll tell you what, because it's goals. super inappropriate. And yeah. not like like sexual, whatever. The, it's just like the whole time Johnny Depp's just like... Ugh. But keeps watching anyway. Uh, 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 I don't want to be here. Uh, uh. And yeah. you're just like, well, go away then, man. Yeah. It's been like five minutes. Jesus What's Christ, are you taking notes? From the movie? Um, no, my, again, my favorite scene is when he's hacking into the blood tree. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. there's just some there's just something hilarious about the nature in which they would have had to shoot that. Yeah. So um, tell us what your favorite. Yeah. What's scene your favorite is? scene? Uh, I have to give this movie four out of five. He is not my favorite Ichabod Crane. This is and that is why five out of five. Yeah. This is this isn't the best not Sleepy even a Hollow question. story. So there 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 are there are better versions. Most of them are worse. So don't don't look too hard. Yeah, but, don't go too uh, deep down that rabbit hole. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so either way, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This has been Review Jive. It was Terrible Movie Tuesday. We watched whatever this is called, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Oh, uh, we watched Sleepy Hollow 1999. Johnny Depp 
Christina Ricci, Christopher Walken. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that kind of stuff. And we will catch you guys next time. Yeah, let's see how terrible it is. <laughs>